y'all, it's Sherry here from Scrapping with Sherry, and I wanted to show you a quick idea using the Ancient Key Chain Border Maker cartridge. Now, this goes with the Border Maker system, and I've already cut the chain on here. There's another video that shows how to use the Border Maker system, but I wanted to show you how I made the border to go on this layout very quickly. Now, after I had cut this, the ancient key chain actually stays on the paper. You have to cut it off in order to make a, a border that's a standalone border. And what I did was I measured the edge of the border hole to the outside edge of the paper, and that's about a quarter of an inch. So to keep those the same on both sides, I just went back and I put the edge of my open part of the border maker punch to the one quarter inch on my trimmer. And then I'm just gonna slice that. Now when I do that, I get the same border side to side. Now you'll notice on this page that I did that the border looks very different. That's because I looked at putting the whole border on there, but look how wide that is. And I decided that was just really too wide for what I had in mind. So I went back and I put the border maker on the person on the 12 inch trimmer. Now this 12 inch trimmer is fantastic because it's a zero centering, meaning when you get things on the cut line, you'll be able to see side to side how to line things up exactly. And in doing that, I lined those up. I'm also looking at where my little cutting line is on here because I want to make sure that I get it pretty much centered to trim that down. And when I think I have it centered, I can always go back and use my side guides and run them down through there just to make sure that the black line is showing that I'm not going to cut off anything I want. And then I'm ready to chop that cartridge. All right. So when I did that on this page, I just went back and I adhered that across the top of this paper border. I cut off the outside edges. And then when I got to the sides here, I just measured the space that I had and cut it exactly to fit those corners. So that's a quick, easy way to use the Ancient Key Chain Border Maker cartridge along with your 12 inch trimmer to create a really quick and pretty border. Now this is a little fussy. There's a lot of little pieces to it. So your repositionable adhesive is the best way to go on that. It has the green housing for the repositionable adhesive, but there is another video that shows the difference in the regular and repositionable adhesives. I hope you have fun doing something with this ancient keychain. There's a link to purchase this border micro cartridge in the comments below. Let me know if you like this, what you've done with this um, border maker cartridge. I hope to see it soon and happy scrapping. Mm -hmm.